This video is taking you down a deep, dark, dank hallway. Are you sure you want to find out what comes next? Probably not. The exit is this way. So we'll go this way. Jewelry often looks really elegant and more valuable on beautiful black velvet displays. And um, I've used a lot of these over time. I've made some out of wood, but sometimes you just got to get the ones that are formed just right. But I find that the black can be a little bit too dark sometimes and also a little bit boring. So I spice it up by spray painting them different colors and it's a really easy way you can use you can make your own displays with just pieces of wood I have a video on that and I'll make more in the future for you guys but it really just just a few cans of spray paint and the the fabric seeps up the color so sometimes you got to hit it let it dry hit it a little more but it really doesn't take that long make sure you're in a well ventilated area unlike myself um, I can't tell you how many crazy dreams I've had after passing out in the basement and, you know, waking up later to be shaken by authorities or family members. That's not really true, probably. But anyway, let's have some fun with this. This is my first attempt at grass using only a palette knife. And uh, those flowers need some work. But anyway, let's work on this table here. Look at that. Automatically, it's looking kind of rich. You can also, you don't have to do it uniform. You can do like streaks. You can have it fade from a light to a dark. You can uh, throw in some white for that purpose. I just came down here. I didn't even really plan this. Where is my white? Here it is. Now, the, the white sometimes doesn't take right away. It depends. Sometimes I like to put like white in the middle and then have it fade to the color or fade to black or a little of both. But see, I've, I've only been putting like just a little bit there. And look at, look at how much that's changed the appearance. Now I put, put a little bit of the, the color over the white afterwards and that gives it like a lighter, like in this case, a, a little bit of a pinkish wine look and here's one more thing you can do is sometimes necklaces if they're just draped over they hang too low you know if they're longer and the pendant will fall all the way down to the to the to the tabletop you go in the back and you you might need to drill a pilot hole because you don't want to split this sometimes it's just like heavy cardboard but Drill a pilot hole and, or get a very thin nail and put a screw or a nail about one, two, or three sticking out about a centimeter or about half an inch. And then you can attach the back of the necklace on there and you can adjust it to different heights. And, you know, that really helps with your displays. I want to show you something I did. Okay, I did this off camera, but I just added a t streak of yellow across that shoulder and then a little bit of pink around the throat area just to give you guys all kinds of different ideas. You know, you can don't be afraid to really experiment. You can always usually spray over it if you feel like you made it too light, too dark, too red, too whatever. 
Look at that difference there between the plain black. Now you, you don't have to go this dramatic. You can just put a tiny bit of color, but each of these you could put, you know, a little, that could be a little, that's kind of raspberry. That could be a little bit of a dark blue. That could be a little bit of a dark green. And then the different colors of your necklaces will really pop differently on each piece. Here's some bracelet stands I'm going to bring up after I work on them. Anyway, I want to do a lot of videos on different displays and show you guys because they're so easy and fun to make. Sometimes they're more fun for me than even making the, the jewelry. So let me show you upstairs some of the ones that I've made over the years. Back down the scary hallway. I showed you in another video, these are uh, actually paint canvases where I stained, I, I stained the frame. I ripped off the canvas from the frame and then glued it onto another canvas. And uh, these are all streaks of different color of spray paint. And then this is wood stain. But I put four of them together to make this carousel of earrings. And you know, each one has different, a different color palette. So that's kind of fun. This was a same kind of display it was black and i just gave it like a rustic look like kind of a yellowish sandy still a little bit of a kind of a stone color this these are three wood ones they're all flat but they're they're the same size and um you can see the red yellow and green patterns coming out and then on the back here i have these loops to catch the back of the necklace but then I found that for long necklaces these weren't enough so I added a couple screws so as you can see this this necklace is fitting onto this one right here and this one is fitting onto this one right here this is just a, a flat piece of wood I just cut some indentations for the um, for the necklaces to hang and then again this is you could see a little bits of white, black, pink, all sprayed in there, but still keeping the, the wood grain, which is kind of fun. Here's the same three uh, wood silhouettes, but um, this time it's purple, blue, and a darker green. So that gives some variation. Here's a, a, another one. This is, a, this is another similar one with the pink and the gray, the black and the white, you know, faded in and out here and there. Just have fun, like, just put layers, and if you don't like it, you switch it up. Um, these watches, I, I used burlap, and then I sprayed it green and a little bit of tan. And this one I made a little bit more of a lighter green. This is, this is more of a darker green. You guys didn't know I carry watches. I actually carried them. Originally, I bought the watch faces to make my own leather bands, and then people were just buying the watches right off of the um, table before I could make them a unique leather band. And so I figured, okay, fine. I must be really good at finding unusual watches. So that was fun. Something to add to it. Um, here's, here's another wood one I built. And there's the, the deer antler necklace that I have in the video this week. You, you should check those out. If, and in the back, I cut all these little rivet guys to hold the necklace at different spots. I would never do that now. That was in the past when I used to experiment. That's way too much work. I would just put a whole line of screws or nails sticking out nowadays. But, you know, it was fun at the time. And here are some flat silhouettes where you can see I did, well that one's kind of falling off. I have to adjust it. But this is the um, this is kind of a wine purpley. This is the blue. This is more of a red. It's more of a darker green. And they look really good all together. I had fun with that. Um, this mannequin foot was really fun. The mannequin foot didn't cost me too much. I built, I went through all the trouble of cutting a hole in it, putting a dowel up through it. I don't know if I need to do all that today. The dowel came all the way through the top. But and then I put a wood base. And then the wood base wasn't even, it wasn't straight. So I added that little weird curve on the bottom so it would sit up straight. But Except for that little peeling part by the toe and a little bit at the top, this was, 
I did layers and layers of gray and black and pink and white and more pink and more purple. And I was trying to give it like a, the look of a sock, like a woman's stocking. So there is no race to the foot, it's ambiguous. It could be um, any skin color because it looks like a, a socked foot, kind of. Anyway, sorry guys, just having fun ranting and showing you like there's, it's so much fun to make your own displays. And I, again, I need to make some more videos showing you some specifics on fun ways to make your displays. Here's some of my semi-precious stones. I built this box. I have fun building. It's a, it's, it's a lot of fun. I like to pretend I'm a carpenter sometimes. Um, but anyway, see you guys soon.